So talk to me a little bit about what happened with this engine failure. Well, during takeoff, the engine is under the highest stress. And apparently, and this is just the first blush, uh, one of the inlet fan blades seems to have failed and had been ingested into the engine. That resulted in a catastrophic failure. And this is actually something that you have experienced as a pilot. So talk about what happens in that situation. It, you know, it, a lot of it depends on day or night. Mine happened to happen at night on a 747. And uh, there's a backfire that's involved that shot a flame about 20 feet out in front of the engine uh, because the airflow had been disrupted by this fan blade failure. The engines are set on pylons specifically for this purpose. They're away from the wing. And generally when an engine digests itself like this United one appears to have, it's contained within the engine nacelle. Uh, that's what makes this a little bit more unusual that it rained down debris on all the area around it. So at this point, they've grounded some of the Boeings. What happens? What are they looking for? What are the next moves for United? Well, they're gonna go ahead and do inspection on all these fan blades. Every fan blade is inventory. It's not like they get one big engine and say, hang it on the wing and go. This is something every fan blade will have a serial number on it. And they're gonna go back to that lot and look at all those serial numbers that have come from the similar run from the manufacturer. In this case, I believe it was uh, Pratt and Whitney engines. The other big manufacturers are General Electric and Trent engines by Rolls-Royce. And uh, the smallest crack in one of these fan blades because they're very lightweight metal can result in a failure. So they're monitored uh, with any indications of failure. The old days, they used to put a die on them and see how far the crack went in. Now with all the engine monitoring that goes on automatically that the pilot doesn't even see, sometimes maintenance will know there's an issue with an engine before the pilot ever knows. That was not the case this time. So people are seeing this, they're seeing these planes are grounded. If it's going through their head about their own safety, should people still feel safe flying on these kinds of planes? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the 777, the 777, is one of the most overpowered airplanes. Uh, now, they were flying out of Denver, so it has its own challenges for altitudes, of course. But uh, in essence, once it's off the ground, it could have continued for a great deal of time on the single engine. That's what we train for in the simulator over and over again, engine failures during takeoff, immediately after takeoff. And it becomes almost muscle memory for the pilot to go ahead and do these things. And the 777 had built-in technology that was so good that it would zero out the rudder so the yaw of the uneven thrust might not even be noticeable to the pilots. Boeing actually had to back off that it was so good so it would have some indication that the nose was tracking incorrectly. Uh, this was a dramatic uh, incident because we saw fire on the wing, but that engine is contained and the initial steps the pilots take will extinguish that fire and then they just continue to fly the aircraft. Mark, thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate your time.